Hello guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going to be going over Pelantir. It's kind of an update video from my last Pelantir video. If you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. I break this stock in that video and this is a follow through update video. Now before we get into this video, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to my channel because it really helps my channel grow and allows me to keep posting videos like this. So if you want to see more videos like this, like I said, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I appreciate all the support y'all have been giving me. So let's get right into the video. Let's talk about Pelantir, what's happening, and why I think it's actually about to break out above. So the previous video I talked about Pelantir, we implemented our stop loss and we said we would stop out underneath here. So if ever got to here, we would have stopped out. As you can see, it has not, so we're not out of Pelantir yet. Now the reason why I have my stop loss here is because we'd be making these lower high situations so we'd continue this downtrend. However, Pelantir is doing something interesting. Now look, I charted out this resistance area back here because because we know that the price, every time it hit this resistance, it fell down. Notice here, it hit it and fell down. Here, it hit it and it fell down and over here. So each time we hit this area, it you know the price gets rejected. But something interesting is happening. So today, we hit the area and exactly we came selling off. But buyers came up so this is why i think palantir is about to break out we're making these higher low situations so we're doing this uptrend and notice that each time we get rejected we're not pushing down as much yes we did have an aggressive push off once we hit the resistance but notice buyers came back and we continued up so we're up four cent on the day so nothing huge but that's not the important part the important part is how we got to this resistance, how we sold off, but how buyers came back. Notice that each time we sold off, we're increasingly continuing this uptrend. Buyers are coming up more aggressively and sellers are getting exhausted. So this is exactly what you want to see if you're hoping for a breakout play. Now we can draw a little trend line right here like this. And then this is our resistance line. So this is a, what we call an ascending triangle. It's where we're making the higher lows. We're following the trend line and then, but we're getting rejected at a resistance line. So we're getting rejected at this horizontal line. And eventually what happens with these ascending triangles is we break out to the upside. So if you're playing this as an ascending triangle, make sure you have your stop loss underneath the trend line. So right here is perfectly fine where my other one was at and then wait for the breakout. So this is why I'm making this video because I saw this pattern. I noticed that when we hit the resistance, we're getting rejected, yes, but buyers are still coming in and we're making this higher low pattern. And this is what you want to see if you're bullish on Pelantir. So the breakout could happen tomorrow. So if you're watching this late at night or early in the morning, see how the pre-market session is going for Pelantir. Are we up? If we are, we may have the breakout on Tuesday, which is tomorrow. But if we're down, still have your stop loss implemented and see if we return back to this trend line. However, I think we are going to have a breakout on Pelantir soon. It's just a matter of when. It's going to be in the next couple of days, if not tomorrow, just because it's getting tighter and tighter. You notice that with the ascending triangle, eventually we get really tight up in here and then we break out. But like I said, the breakout can happen tomorrow. We can break out tomorrow, but I would just watch how we're doing the pre-market session. We also have some very, very bullish news on Pelantir. I talked to him about, about in my previous video on Pelantir that we have new contracts coming in. So Pelantir just picked up another contract actually from the FDA for $44 million over the span of three years. So that was bullish news on Pelantir. Maybe that's why we saw that little pop up at the beginning, you know, market open, but then we aggressively sold off and then but buyers came in. So this is why I wanted to make this video because I was looking at Pelantir and I saw this pattern. I actually love playing out ascending triangles. Ascending triangles are probably my favorite pattern because they typically to follow through the most. Let's go on down to the 15 minute time frame and see what it did intraday. Right? We noticed that we hit resistance on the 15 minute time frame just like we did on the four minute or sorry, four hour time frame. But look at this guys. We're playing beautifully to this trend line. So even if you were just playing this trend line, it would be a good entry today. See how each time that we hit this trend line, we pop up. So tomorrow, that's what you want to see. You want to see some type of continuation play where we pop up, maybe retest the trend line one more time before we get that initial breakout. 
So if you're watching Palantir anymore and we pop up, we get rejected at resistance, this would be a good time to get in at this trend line play right here. So at 27, 26 or somewhere along this line. And resistance, remember, is at 28, 20, 28, 13. That's where the resistance is at. But we are playing this trend line. So tomorrow session, see if we're up in pre-market. If we're up, good. Maybe wait for a resistance play where it sells off resistance and it finds support again at this trend line. So as you can see, we're making this perfect trend line up. And the only thing right now holding us back is this resistance. And I think we're going to break above it soon. That's why I wanted to make this video. So Pelantir is going to be on high watch for me tomorrow. And my trade plan still goes the same. My stop loss is going to be right here. My take profit is going to be above the resistance somewhere in this area. So if you're trading Pelantir or if you're even in it right now, you can structure your trade like this just based off of how much you're willing to risk is how your stop loss is going to be. But I plan to take profit somewhere up here or maybe even sooner depending on how big the pop is. But I think Palantir has a lot of good things coming for it. And this might be a stock that you just want to hold for a longer period of time such as six months, a year, two years. So this might not be something you want to trade whether it's something you want to hold for an investment. That just all depends on your criteria, how your trading style goes or how your investment style goes. Anyways, guys, I just want to get this video out here to bring this to your attention that yes, Pelantir looks like it's about to break out. But anyways, guys, I will see you all in the next video.